WordPress 6.8 is out today. If you're updating, wait, watch this video first because it's recommended that you back up your website before you update. So let me show you how to back up your website. On your website, head into the plugin section, go to add new plugin, and from the plugin repository, go to the search option, type duplicator. This is a backup plugin we've been installing and then find this plugin called Duplicator. You can see 1 million installs, great ratings. This is the icon and just click install and install this plugin on the site. I'm doing it right now. Once Duplicator is installed, you'll see a menu entry for Duplicator here. Go to the backup section, which will look something like this. Completely blank slate, but don't worry. All you have to do is find this create new button on the bottom top right and just go and click on it. And the backup process will begin. It'll automatically give a name to the backup and it will show you all the default things. You can stick with the default options. Just find the next button and click on it. So once you click next, Duplicator will start scanning your website. I'm just hiding my email from the screen. And once the scan is complete, you'll get a report on whether there's some issues with the backup or can be an issue with the backup. And you can see it's all green. That means we can step or go to the next step to start the backup process. You just click the build button. And once again, the backup will start. I'm just hiding my email from the screen here and take a few seconds. You can just follow this percentage icon. Once it's complete, we should see the complete backup. And now you can see that the backup is complete. You can download the installer, which will also contain WordPress files. If you install it on a blank server without WordPress, you can use this file or you can use the archive, which will just contain the data. So if you want to backup to a website which already has WordPress, you can use this or you can download both files. And if you want to see where the backups are stored, you can always go back to the backups menu here. And once you're inside the backups, you'll see the backup we just created here with all the names, details. And if you scroll to the right, you'll find the familiar buttons. You can download the installer, which has WordPress. You can download the backup, which just has the backup files. You can also archive this. Of course, you can also upgrade to Duplicator Pro. Let me tell you the best features about Duplicator Pro. So this was the process to do a manual backup. If you upgrade to Duplicator Pro, you can schedule this so that all the backups that I just showed you how to do can be done automatically. You can do it a weekly basis, monthly basis. You can set the schedule. And also the backups will be uploaded to the cloud provider of your choice. So you can upload it to Google Drive, Amazon S3 storage, or even OneDrive, Dropbox, any cloud provider. And you can download these backups to your computer as well, just if you want to save or you want to have security and peace of mind that you have the backups. So that's Duplicator Pro for you. And once you've done this, once you've done the backup process, now you can upgrade to WordPress 6.8. If you don't know how, then watch this video right here. Or if you're watching this on Instagram, go to the link in bio. Probably you'll find a link there.